Here at Sports Radio, we are here live at the AAC where the Mavericks take another heartbreaking loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lose 117-114. to 114. Kevin Durant had a career night tonight, 52 points and 21 for 21 from the free throw line. Stay tuned, we're going to take you guys inside the locker room with OJ Mayo, Elton Brand, Dirk Nowinski, Vince Carter, Russell Westbrook, and also Coach Carlisle and Coach Brooks as well. Stay tuned, rfsportsradio.com. I was playing well, we played hard. It's closed now. That close, I came out at home. That last shot, you know, you obviously got a good pass from Sean making the save. You just kind of run through that play. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, good play. We drew up. Uh, got a dirt, got, got me on a rescreen, and uh, obviously you don't want to leave the big fellas. So I think they, for a split second, they both ran to him. And uh, I got an open look, got up here and knocked it down. OJ, on the, after KD hit the shot to put them up, I think they're up three. What happened on the play where it broke down and, and James had to take the long three? Uh, I don't know. I probably have to look at it. Uh, had a play drawn up and there was a switch on Dirk uh, with Westbrook. And, you know, we had something else drawn up and Dirk kind of broke off the play, had a mismatch. And, um, you know, we didn't really recognize it right away. The opportunity to switch back and you know, force it. Forced him into a tough shot. That was drawn up for you? Uh, no, there are a couple options. How tough is this going through games like this? You've had a lot of them where you've been playing the, the elite teams and you're knocking on the door every time, but you can't kick yeah. it open. Yeah, we've got to close, got to close this game out with us on top, especially our own and that energy. You know, they had pulled away from us, but you know, we got it back, even took the lead right in the fourth. Free throw line a couple times. Okay, did some tough shots. Some offensive rebounds. He crossed the line, stretched a little bit. And all in all, we're forcing overtime, but we got to close that game out. Regardless of what I did tonight, that doesn't matter. It's about winning games, and so I didn't do my job. Do you think that uh, the, the momentum built up to this game, you get the loss tonight, but then moving back to Orlando, can what happened tonight continue to build with the streak that you guys have been on? We have no choice but to continue to keep, you know, um, having streaks. Um, we got to dig ourselves out of the hole that we've um, put ourselves in in the beginning of the season. And so every loss is double, you know. So we got to continue. We got to take advantage, especially of games like this when we had them on the hills and we had opportunities. And it's just about making plays at the end of the game. All right, thanks for the time. Mike, it's going to get kind of blown up there. For you to pull yeah, it, it did, you know, and... I saw Kendrick on me, and then Dirk had switched with Russell on him, and definitely at the end of the game, I got to be able to make the right decision to put the people in the position to be able to make plays. And so, you know, I had Kendrick one-on-one, -on -one and, you know, I guess you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And so, you know, it felt good, but it's only good if it goes in the hole. But at the same time, it's not about how it feels, it's about making the play. Where was the play design? Yeah. Where was the play design to go? Well, it was it was designed for um, OJ to come off, and somehow, you know, it just didn't come go all the way through, mm -hmm. and that happened at the end, and so that was it. How frustrating or, or disappointing that you hold Durant to 13 or 31, which is acceptable, but he still ends up at 52. I mean, that's got, that's a I mean, he's a great scorer. He's probably the best scorer in the game right now. And, you know, we did a great job against them. We made them shoot a, a, a bad percentage, especially at the end of the game. You know, it's about getting stops. And he was able to make big shots, especially at the end. How do you feel about getting another 10-day that, that That doesn't concern me. What concerns me is whatever the coach, whatever position the coach puts me in, I have to be prepared to play. And, you know, I'm, I'm not focused on, you know, what management is doing with me. I'm focused on if he's going to play me, I'm going to be ready to play. If he doesn't play me, I'm going to be ready to cheer the guys on. And so I'm just focused on playing the game. Got to okay. feel good to you. Yeah, we'll make him take a lot of tough shots because you look up to the back and you got 52. Oh, wow. I mean, no, look, you know, I think uh, it's hard to, uh, to be on the team when, uh, when you uh, seem like you're playing um, – you know what I'm saying, uh, five against eight. But at the same time, I think, uh, you know, we gave ourselves a chance to win this game tonight. You know, I think uh, they, they hit some tough shots, you know, and uh, Westbrook did as well, you know. But you got to take the ball to make, they, you got to make some miles beat you. I think uh, 
you know, uh, especially when, uh, when you feel like uh, this, uh, this is a slight mishap here or miscommunication here, but you got to make some, somebody else who wins court that night beat you. You know, I think uh, we could have did a couple of different things, but for the most part, we were there. You know, we were there all night, and, uh, you know, we got, we got back in the game, and, you uh, I feel like we just couldn't close it out, though. Five versus eight. 21, 21 trips to the line. Oh my God, that's, that's nuts. You know, um, you know uh, some fouls is, oh, I mean, some fouls is fouls, but some of them, yeah, it's questionable, but it is what it is. I can't, you can't sit here and offer the fouls. You know, we, uh, we had opportunities to take the, to take this game, uh, we just didn't excel on it, and, uh, you know, you got to take a head off to them. They are, they are you know, a well-coached team. They, they play well off each other, and they, uh, and, uh, they research the game very well. And then, like I said, the, the runner that he hits to put him up. Uh, I always what he could do. I mean, that was a tough shot. You know, I mean, the, thing, the thing is about KD, everybody understands. You know, KD is seven foot tall. You know, and, and uh, he's able to, to, you know, what I'm saying get that shot off. And pretty much everybody. You know, that, you know, he made guys playing the wing at seven foot tall. You know, with the, and with his, uh, his his arms, man. You know, and he's seven seven guy, seven three or seven four wings, man. <laughs> so that makes it you know, much harder. But uh, you know, you can make it hard on. I think I think he had a, he had a uh, easy night pretty much on the defense. I think that's what it, I think that's where it, it's held in the kid three going one another year. But you can't you can't be nobody and somebody get twenty five free throws. Sean uh, one and eight in overtime games and a couple of losses in overtime to OKC. You put your finger on what happens in overtime and you guys get there, but you can't seem to pull these out. Um, I mean, it could be a little bit of everything, but you know we give ourselves a chance. You know, and uh, we really need to, to to really pinpoint get that win tonight. But uh, it's frustrating. But you gotta you gotta sort of try, keep trying to work on and get better and, uh, and, and put, try to solve it. You know, I think that's all you really can do. It's gotta be frustrating for guys like you and Dirk. You know, so used to winning. Uh, what are you telling young guys to? Oh, you gotta stay after it. You know, you gotta stay home. I think uh, we gotta keep helping each other, keep trying to make each other better. You know, keep. You recognize and when you when we have mismatches and disadvantages, and it's, it's really learning the game. I think uh, when it's time that we, we forget um, what we, what we uh, what we learn at times, and we just go out and just play. You know, which coach gives do, does, does give the freedom us the freedom to go out and make our own plays and stuff. But sometimes we do gotta recognize what's what's out there and what we what we can take advantage of. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. I need you on defense. Were you open? You feel like you should have got the ball? Well. Uh, Actually, it was the first time in the game they switched. Um, so knowing that, if we would have known they were going to switch, we probably would have run something different. Um, and that way, we ran kind of a play for OJ coming off my screen. But since they already switched, and they just switched again, and we had nothing there. So that's a good play on their part. They hit us with something we weren't ready for, and then Mike got stuck up top. We kind of may had to had to make something happen, and I actually thought we got a good shot up. Um, he, he, he made one in overtime already from the same spot, so I mean, we made the best of it. And just what can you say about the game right here tonight? Well, honestly, he had 52, but I thought we guard him as well as he can guard somebody on 52. I think we shot, we missed a bunch of shots. Uh, I think at one point he missed eight in a row or something like that. So I mean, uh, yeah, he was—he uh, got hot there late. Um, thought we didn't do a good job, obviously, keeping off the free throw line and kind of give a, a good player 21 free throws. Uh, at some point, if he keeps going, see the basket, uh, the ball goes through the basket. At some point, he's going to get hot. Um, but like I said, for, for a guy who had 52, I think we still did a decent job on him. You know, sometimes we got hurt on the boards. We did miss it. Westbrook uh, did miss it. Bach and Perk is a shot and they're doing a good job getting some loose balls. And one time with Ibaka in overtime, we're up one still, tipped the ball out, he goes right to Westbrook, he swings it to Durant, that was a big play, hits a three. Um, so, yeah, just a couple of fortunate plays that we had to come up with the ball. This was the first half of uh, midway point for the season tonight. What do you like when you see him spread? Well, I like to fight. I like to fight. We got enough. We didn't play a good game uh, all the way to the middle of the fourth. Uh, besides Vince, really, who kept us in the game. Uh, 
um, and we're still in striking distance. We talked about going to four, that they were down eight or nine, which in this league is, is a couple shots. Um, so did a good job hanging around and fighting. Just uh, came up a little short. Um, but you know, if we fight and uh, try to guard and rebound a little better, I still like our chances, uh, especially now. What don't you like that you're seeing halfway through the season? Well, I think we uh, had a couple more mistakes again uh, than we had in, in the previous games. So turned the ball over a little too much for our likings again. I think we've been great handling the ball uh, here the last three weeks or so. Uh, so I felt like we made a couple mistakes there. Uh, defensively, we got we to get better sometimes, uh, sticking our coverages. Uh, and rebound again was uh, we gave up 18 offensive rebounds tonight. That's, that's something we. We all got to fight for. Uh, I don't think we're a great rebounding team, obviously. Um, so we, we got to have five noses in there and, and stick, uh, hang in there and um, we come up with the ball somehow so we can get the, the running game started. But I mean, considering where we were three weeks ago, we got blown out five times in a row, whatever it was, when I first got back. Um, I think we improved tremendously. Um, and we still got another gear to go to, and we're going to keep pushing. And, Keep watching film, watching little things we can get improve on. But, you know, if, if you look at the turnovers, how we improved from the almost dead last, uh, almost number one in taking care of the ball the last two, three weeks, then, then I think we can get better in a lot of other areas just like that. And then we could be a, a pretty good team. How about you? Didn't look like you had any rhythm early. Yeah, it seems like the last couple of times I actually played better in the second half. So what am I doing? Whatever I'm doing to get warmed up or it's just not really working. I look stiff out there a little bit. And I don't really feel like I'm moving well. So uh, I just got to keep on working. I keep taking my shots uh, in pregame and uh, off days. Uh, get my running in. and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I got to keep on working. I don't know what else to say. Uh, had some great looks even there in the first half. It's, it's almost a tragedy that they don't go in. Um, so I'll uh, keep on stepping in them. Uh, and, uh, obviously, the, the team wants me to stay aggressive and look for my shot when it's there. Uh, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. Just Derek. a different rhythm getting the ball from the guys who are point guards now than what you've been used to the last few years? Nah, I had some wild looks. I even there in the fourth. I had a wide open three to tie it. I mean, that's usually uh, that's losing money in the bank. So. Uh, yeah, I just got to keep on working. I mean, I've been back now almost, whatever, three and a half weeks. And basically, with me not having training camp, that's uh, training camp's almost over, you know, four weeks. And so hopefully I can, uh, I can get back in the rhythm a little better. And, uh, so I got to I gotta be a little more aggressive early in games to get myself going and get some shots there and, and just have a little more pep in my step in the first half so I don't always start one for five, one for six, and then keep chasing uh, some shots. Uh, you have played now at the end there where games 